Among the many original items in the Harding home is something that was very important to President Harding, and that's this chair here. Now, it's not in perfect condition anymore. Leather doesn't age very well, but and we don't want everything restored to its perfect condition. We try to conserve the condition, but not to restore everything. This chair is featured in this picture, and this was taken in July of 1921. Harding had been president just since March, and this was a gift given to him from newspaper editors across the country. They each chipped in a dollar to have a special gift made because he was the first newspaper editor and still is the only one who ever made it to the White House. So they want to get him a special gift. They called this the editor's chair. This wood from this chair is from the Revolutionary War. It came from a ship called the Revenge. The Revenge was part of our very small American Navy during the Revolutionary War. The ship sunk on Lake Champlain, and some of the wood from the ship was salvaged in 1909, and that wood was used to make this chair. It has symbols of the newspaper industry on here. There is a woman blowing a horn. She is disseminating news to the world. And on the other side is a hand holding lightning bolts. It's harnessing that power of communication, all under the watchful eye of the American Eagle. Newspapers were the only way you were going to get news in that day. So that was the heyday of newspapering. The leather on the chair is from the hide of an Ohio steer, so paying homage to the president's home state. He kept this in his private study at the White House. and. My favorite part of the chair is this long scratch on the seat. That scratch was made by his dog, Laddie Boy. Laddie adopted this chair as a favorite place to perch, and like most of us, the president didn't have the heart to shoo him out of the chair.